Hey Fox fam, this is gonna be like vlog style today. If you watched my Instagram live the other day, then you know how disastrous my YouTube space is right now. And I honestly can't film in here anymore until this gets cleaned up. Like, let me just give you a quick little rundown of what the F is going on in here. It has gotten, it's like, okay, so it's like trip after trip after trip, and then things just get piled up everywhere and over here, and there is just, stuff everywhere, like new stuff. And honestly, I haven't gone through any of my old drawers for quite a while. So all of these are completely filled up with makeup that is very old. Like some of these are from a couple years ago and I literally haven't touched them. So really needing to go through all of these lipsticks. I honestly don't take anything out of this drawer anymore. I've been like grabbing stuff up here or just new stuff. So all of this is just sitting here. And so what I'm doing is I'm collecting some stuff for the women's shelter. Obviously not these items. These have been possibly used. So I'm having a friends and family get together where they will be going through all this. But all of the new stuff, like some of this stuff over here, that has never been opened, um, we'll be going to the woman's shelter. It's just time that I clean all of this out. Like all of these are just full of makeup that I pretty much never touch because I'm using most of the new stuff that's coming and it just sits here. So I did a little thing on Instagram and you guys said that you wanted to see kind of like the makeup purge of all of this. Um, so we've got, um, Angela is over here to my right, but she doesn't wanna be on camera. Say hi, Angela. Hey. Okay, you can hear her voice. <laughs> she's here. Uh, she's gonna help me film this, but we, yeah, there's a bunch of old like PR package stuff up here that it's been pretty and I like couldn't throw it away, but like we've gotta make room for new stuff because I kept saying like, oh, I need a bigger room. No, bitch, you don't need a bigger room. You need to like stop being such a crazy hoarder. Um, it's always like in your head, like when you have a YouTube channel, you're like, Maybe I'm gonna use that one thing at some point in the future because it's really unique and pretty, or maybe you know, you're gonna wanna put together some a look with just that brand, and so you end up keeping like all of these things and it's just out of control. There are a couple drawers that I will not be touching though because I will never give anything away that's in there. And that that is my glitter drawer, um, which is over here, my glitter and sticker drawer. I'm not, nothing is ever gonna come out of here. Like this can just keep growing and growing and growing and have its own room. Like glitter it will never be touched. But like stuff like this, like all of these, I have all of these, these are all doubles. I'm just being a hoarder. So this is gonna be insane, but we're gonna go through all of this today. Look, these aren't even open. I literally got these like two years ago and I'm like, oh, I'll use them, I'll use them at some point. No, you won't. So we're getting rid of it. It is really hard though, because you see like a lot of, like a lot of these are unique. Like these I'm not getting rid of because I don't have another green lipstick like this, but a lot of this is just seriously repetitive as hell. And the amount of PR packages that ColourPop does, I've never even touched this. I just use all their new stuff. And these, I've had these, I have doubles. Like these are like probably the same shade. Like too much, too much. Enough is enough. So yeah, we're gonna go through all this today. Are you guys ready for this? Actually, this is already hard for me right now with the lipsticks. So let's move on to some palette. Oh, I almost tripped on my, on my light and died. Um, these literally never use anymore. Like there's just too many new ones. So these are the beauty school dropout. Loved these for a time, but it's been done a million times. That is really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna keep that one. <laughs> okay, I have like a million versions of that. I've never used this one. This one was the like mermaid. Oh, that's really pretty though. See what happens? Should we get rid of it or should we keep it? Okay, I'll keep it. Ooh, can't get rid of that one, love that one. Can't get rid of that, love Nicole, Chloe's, Jacqueline. These are some of my like collab palettes that I'm definitely not ever gonna let go. Okay, I love that one, we're not getting rid of that. I, liked the, I like this palette, but I feel like I have these colors in like so many other palettes, so I'm gonna let someone else enjoy that one. These are pretty, those are cool for bright looks. It's gonna get heavy for you, you might want a chair. <laughs> there you go, that's your workout. <laughs> oh, the bomb. That's pretty. Hey. Whoa, hi. Oh, are you filming? Yeah, say hi to everybody. Hi everybody. Ryan got a new haircut, he looks sassy. Very sassy. Sassy, sexual, sassy. Oh, muscles on display. All right, so we have a giant tub full of palettes that we are done with for now. Too many new good ones. So this drawer has been really cleared out. It looks great. 
Okay, currently going through the hourglass ones over here. I'm just kind of seeing if these are shades that I would wear. And if they are, I'm putting them here. If they're not, I'm putting them here. I tend to not ever use lipstick that I can't see what color it is, which is why I never really use these Bite Beauty ones. I never, oops, we'll get it in a sec. <laughs> I never use these Smashbox ones either. Um, so I'm gonna actually depot these. So I'm gonna keep these ones, get rid of these. These are all the little ones that go in here, which I think is like, I feel like like older women, like old old ladies would like love this maybe. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe they'd hate it too, but you get this like little filler thing and it goes in there and they're really pretty shades, but you hardly get any lipstick in there and I just like can't get behind that. It says I'll never stop. You definitely stop after like two uses with this guy. So not a huge fan of these. I've kept these because I thought it was a cool concept, but I'm just gonna let these go now because I've honestly never used them. And I think that it's kind of a waste of money for not enough product. You know what, I have an issue. I don't like this flat top. Like, I don't know. I also don't really love products that do like three things. Like this one's meant to go on your cheek your lip and your eye and whatnot. And I just think that's kind of weird. Like, I just like to know what the hell something's for and then use it different ways if I feel like it. But, oh, that's really pretty shade though. Oh, the formula is really nice too. Okay, I changed my mind. So I like those. Maybe some of these could be cool for blush. Maybe I should stop being such a closed-minded wiener. Try it out. Oops. Okay, so this drawer, like I said, I literally haven't touched any of these so long, so we're just going, so this is what we have so far. It's just like loaded. I'm just keeping some that like look intriguing to me, like the shades, because I've gotten so many new lipsticks that that's the reason why I have not opened this drawer in so long, so it's just silly to keep hoarding all this. The Urban Decay Vice um, special effects are really cool, but I haven't been using them at all lately, so I'm just going to let them have a new home. Then we've got, this is Gerard Cosmetics. I'm gonna just, yeah, I've never used these before, so. Then we've got some NYX lip, Liquid Suede. I already kept some up here, so I'm going to pretty much dump this entire thing. But first, let's get rid of this. So this is a bunch of metallics, um, the Cosmic Metals. I don't really love metallic lipstick, so I am going to, ooh, do we need a new vent? <laughs> Goodbye, my pretties. Looks like I didn't really keep like a dark brown, so maybe I'll keep a couple of those. I do really love these ones. Um, I'm just gonna keep a few shades that I really like. Gonna get rid of a couple of these. I mean, when you think crazy colors, like I don't, I don't think Smashbox, so I would grab for like, Jeffree Star, Sugar Pill. Oh wow, we have more NYX liquid suede for lip lingerie. I'll keep a few of these, but. Oh my gosh, I got all of these Morphe like glosses or whatever, but like, I don't like gloss to come in something like that. It's just like messy and I feel like you can't control how much is coming out. So I'm gonna get rid of all these. There's a lot of BH Cosmetics in here. I haven't been using their li lipstick a lot. I love my Morphe lipstick. I'm pretty much gonna keep all of those, I think. This is some Wet n Wild like metallics. Like definitely not gonna wear any of those. These like, this is like Barbie lipstick, no. So in here we've got some like Ofra. This is metallic, metallic, not gonna wear it. Bright pink, probably not gonna wear it. More metallic. Oh, I have the most LA Splash ever. Like I swear I get a giant thing of liquid lipstick from LA Splash like every other week. So I'm gonna get rid of most of those. Okay, so just cleared out this drawer. It is looking good and this is so insane. Like look how thick this is too. And there's another one too, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this whole other one. Not, I swear a hundred people could not use all this in one whole lifetime. Um, I still have all of these up here and some of my NYX ones over here. We've got some Jouer, Jeffree Star. Um, we've got some Hourglass, Flower Beauty, and then all of my Bite Liquid Lipsticks. And let's go on to the next, oh boy. Okay, come look at what, what I've parted with so far. 
Look at this. Wow. Look at all of these lipstick. Look at that amount of lipstick. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, whoa. Did you realize I was such a hoarder? Yes. <laughs> oh! I've been out here a few times. <sighs> well, look. This isn't even the only room. Look, look. What about your other room? Oh yeah, no, we're, we're hitting that too, but I don't know how much time we've got today. I still have like a bunch of lipsticks and stuff like back there too. So I just went through this drawer and took out all of these. Then I cleared out most of this. Oh my goodness. I don't really ever use NYX singles because it's a lot of like matte transition shades that I already have in palettes. So I think I'm probably gonna get rid of all of these except for like these really pretty ones. One time I was wearing this one and one of you on Instagram was like, you're wearing a uh, mermaid, aren't you? And I was like, dang, you're good. Progress report. This is what we've got going on. That's all lipstick. Okay. This is all concealer. Um, I don't really ever use banana powder, which is why I kind of got rid of these. Um, I just have tons of this stuff. So I got rid of these because I have some of these like on my desk. Tons of just concealer that I never ever use and I swear it's gonna go bad before I ever dip into it. So a um, bunch of color correcting stuff that I got rid of here. Some foundations that once again, like never gonna use, like everything that's near my desk over here is what I always use. And so like, I'm never gonna get to this stuff. Um, Fenty was a little too thick for my skin. Like when I put this on, Ryan was like, what is on your skin? And he was like, it looks really kind of like old in your pores and stuff. And I was like offended, but then I was like, he never says that, so it must be this stuff, so. Uh, these are the Vivid Brights, like, cream colors. I don't really know exactly what I would use those for, but maybe Halloween, so I'll keep those. These are good, but I have bright colors that are even more pigmented than these, so I don't see the sense in keeping these as well. Oh boy. I'm gonna just gonna get rid of some of these that are just kind of typical, boring shades that I, like, already have in a palette. I feel like with singles, it's gotta be something really pretty and like shiny and nice for you to keep it because otherwise like all of these are already in like all of the palettes, like there's no point. These were really pretty, these tart, these are the tart, what are they, chrome paints, those are really fun. These are the, all the empties from when I put together my little Urban Decay palettes. These are the Flirt Cosmetics, like really pretty like metallic-y duos, definitely gonna keep those. Oh, we're not touching the glitter drawer, but we should. You know what, I could probably get rid of some of this. Like a lot of this is duplicates and some of this is pigments and I'm not a huge fan of loose pigments. So I cleared this out off camera cause I was in a hurry, but these are some of the ones that I kept. Uh, we've got Urban Decay Optical Illusion. That one fills in wrinkles and pours really well, I like that. Um, been loving this Tatcha one, the Silk Canvas. Um, I keep these because I think that they make my face nice and shiny, although there are other items that I would use before this, if I can find it. Um, one would be the Jelly Highlighter by Farsali. That gives way more of a glow. Um, been wanting to use this as a tinted moisturizer, so I've got that in there. Good moisturizer for um, when you know you're gonna be out all day and you don't want your skin to get oily. Um, it's basically like water for your skin with no oils in it, so it's awesome. Same thing with these actually. So those are awesome. So this is my highlight drawer. Um, I'm gonna start clearing out some stuff that just aren't ever gonna be my color. I'm gonna get rid of this. I used this once, but I don't really like use it anymore. This is a Pure Cosmetics. This is like cream. I honestly, like I said, I would use my Farsali, this right here, like before that any day. It's one of the jelly highlighters. I, I used this, um, but honestly, I didn't see much of a glow. Uh, this is also a face primer. I'm gonna put this back over here. So I'll, I'm gonna try it again. I'll give another shot. I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, I thought I might use it. I don't really do a whole lot of like not natural highlighters. I'm not really a giant fan. I only do it if I'm like doing like a festival look or something. So I'm gonna put that in here too. This is really pretty. I just haven't used it recently. Absolutely love this Flower Beauty highlight. I'm gonna keep that. This is really pretty too, although I've never used it. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. Um, I like these, I just not even like visually seeing that much shiny from it. So, and of course I have options here. So why keep something that's not super shiny? 
I'm gonna get rid of this guy. I don't really ever use this one. I'm not really sure why. I don't really like the shape of it. Like these are easier to hold and these are beautiful. Uh, will I ever be tan enough for this? We'll keep dreaming. This full on removed my foundation last time I wore it. It's like very oily and I thought I was gonna give another try but I've had a change of heart. We're gonna get rid of this. I love UD but like I feel like the only highlight that I've really ever loved from Urban Decay is the one that I made with them. Not to be biased but this, I never grab for this. I just like so many other ones more than this. We're gonna say goodbye. I'm gonna get rid of these. I don't like how small they are. Too dark for me. These are pretty but like I, and I do really think they're beautiful, um, but so many other highlights I would grab for before these guys, and these are too dark for me anyway, so. <sighs> oh, bronzers, this is a hard one. I love this palette, but it's so old, and there's so many other things that have come out since then, and it's really quite heavy that I wouldn't travel with it. Um, so I think, oh, I think we're gonna have to let this go have two. Love this for when my foundation is too dark for my body. Just slather this on your chest and you are good to go. All right, I'm gonna leave this pretty much as is. I like my options for drugstore. These are nice. Oh my goodness gracious. You like my slippers? You like those? Okay, this is out of control, honestly. Um, but I like my choice of foundations because my skin changes its mind like a lot about, you know, honestly, I hope I'm like never this pale. Oh, geez, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. I, this needs to be organized by brand, but, and then some of this could be taken out of here. And I can never get to these back here. These are like, need to be moved into a new spot because I can never get back here. That's like gone. These get a little messy here. So these just need to be reorganized, honestly. Like, I don't wanna get rid of any of those. We've got some more foundation down here. These, we can get rid of some of these, I swear. Like, I don't need this much. I don't wear lash primer, it's just like another step. Like, why? I like another one that Smashbox makes like so much more than this, so I don't ever use that one. Blush palettes. Would never wear those shades. These are pretty. This is much too heavy to travel with. I really like, oh, it's so pretty though. I'm gonna keep it. Love this one, it's so light. Those are so my jam, those shades like all together. Love it, this is so good for traveling. I have already like cleaned this one up somewhat recently. So I'm just gonna leave this one how it is. However, it does, I kept all these pink ones in case I wanted to do like a pink look, but honestly like, I don't really ever wear pink blush, so I don't think I need all these. I don't ever wear these. I pretty much never wear cream blush, but I do like it for like a nice natural look, so that's why I'm gonna keep these two. I don't know why I never use these. Um, I don't really like the shades for me. A little too pink, so I'm gonna say goodbye to those. Didn't know this was gonna be an organizing video now, did ya? That's like a weird shade, like I don't know if I would ever use it, but. Well, let me just break it first so I don't have a choice. Tons of these like are just kind of crazier colors too from Urban Decay that I would really never wear, but I do like to keep them around just in case. Like some of them are really pretty too. Oh boy. Now, this drawer. I keep all of these eyeliners because you never know when you're gonna need this like random color, but I will take out some that just straight up are I know are gonna give me issues and do, and I only keep them because if I need that one shade and that's all you got it in, then that's what you got. But I think we can clear this out. These always crack on me. I do like them. I do like to use them because, hell, I don't have any other eyeliner colors like this, but they do crack a lot. So I think it's time to come up with something new and something better. Then I've got a lot of, um, you know, these I don't really use a lot. I don't really use the Urban Decay razor ones a lot. Um, I love these Urban Decay ones. These are my absolute favorite glitter liners. I will use those till the day that I die. Like in my coffin, bitch, I better have that smeared all over my eye. Like it's my favorite. Last time I used one of these um, Wet n Wild Mega Eyeliners, it was a bit chunky. So I'm not gonna keep those. And then this is just an array of black liners and some of these are colored. Um, it does bug me that I can't see the color of these until you open it, which is super annoying. 
but I'm just gonna hang on to all these. I mean, who knows? I'm probably only gonna get rid of these, and the reason why is because I literally never use them. These are like the NYX Jumbo Eye Crowns, and I kept them around so that I could use them as an eyeshadow base, but I literally, and then now I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, okay, maybe you should use them sometimes because like when you're trying to get a smoky eye. Gosh dang it. Some of these are doubles though, so I'm definitely gonna get rid of some of these that I'm never gonna use. Like if you lay that down and then lay down a blue eyeshadow on top, like you're freaking golden. Like it's gonna look so good. Maybe I need to put these where they're a little more easily accessible because these are also all for eyeshadow bases, but I don't really use a lot of Jouer, honestly, but mostly because I can't see what color this is until I open it and that's just too much work sometimes. You know what I mean? Most of these like I'm never gonna use. We'll keep the darker shades. These were cool, but they made my eye burn when I put it on there and the only one of these sorts of things that's allowed to burn my eye is the Heavy Metal Glitter by Urban Decay. Oh. I used this for my brows. This is It Cosmetics Midnight, uh, what is it? Midnight Navy Liner Love. I used to use that for my eyebrows when my hair was navy. Just leave that. A lot of these are really old. Let me just take out the ones I know I'm never gonna use. Like, let me just take all of these out. I don't think I've reached for these once since I've lived in this house, and this house is like, I've been in here close to two years now. I don't really ever use these either because they're not super pigmented, but I am gonna keep them just because if I really am in a bind and need one of these, like at least it's here. I don't really use these much either. I did use these for a good minute and then I just forgot about them. And when I forget about a product that easily, like it's something I'm just not using in my makeup enough. Not, not to say that they're not, well, you know what? See, I keep doing that. I'm like, oh my gosh, I could see, now I'm like getting inspired for a look with that right now. It's like so annoying how I do that. Let's just get rid of the shades that I know I'm like probably never gonna touch. There we go. I've had these forever. I don't use these. These are the pure eyeshadow polish. So I made it through all of these drawers here, doing pretty dang good. And I think we might almost be finished. Gonna go ahead and toss these guys. This is the Tarte H2O Lip Gloss. These are just not my shade. Like I just would never wear any of these shades. These are like metallic-y. Like nothing more I hate than just lip gloss is like metallic lip gloss. So these are going, I mean, they're really pretty shades, but they're just not for me. These are some of the shades that I did keep from there that I would wear. Um, and then I honestly, this is just like some random stuff that needs to be put away, it looks like. Um, oh, look at that. We'll definitely be tossing that. No, just kidding. Never toss your Kristen X Land Urban Decay. See, I don't actually know what these all are. These are all these, let's open these. I gotta put this down. Yeah, so these are all eyeliners. Don't mind if I do. Just, yeah, come to mama. These are in some like really, really pretty colors too. Like that almost looks like lime green and this is just not even glittery, but just like an eyeliner. These are really pretty. Maybe what I can do is I can get rid of these ones from LA Splash now since I've got the new ones. Okay, so we're getting ready for a makeup party here at my house. I went through a lot of these that I was getting rid of, but I don't think I went through foundations because these were just like in my office. I have a bunch of YSL. I somehow managed to get on their PR list. And obviously I do not use YSL. They test on animals, unfortunately. So those are in here along with all the Jouer shades that didn't, uh, didn't suit me. And then we've got the YSL. Um, that's blurry concealers, et cetera. And yeah, so it's over, we've got all that over there too. Look at this massive amount of lipstick though. It's like crazy. And then this is full of lipstick over here. And then we got a bunch of eyeshadow singles that I just, I have the same shade, I have doubles, etc. Guys, the dogs are chasing each other. What? So we're having a makeup party and then everything that doesn't uh, get taken, I'm going to be donating to the women's shelter because I, because they need it more than I do. <laughs> so plain and simple. Oh my goodness, we did it. We did it guys. So everything that I had pulled out, I really pulled out and I had a makeup party last night as you saw in the footage and I'm just gonna, let's go check out the aftermath because pretty much like everything was gone. We did really good here. So this was all full. Savages! It's literally like almost all gone. Like this whole bin was full 
And then, you know, there was some stuff that I had doubles of um, that I had put in here. Still have all this. Oop, that guy doesn't have a lid. So we've got some, I always have just the most lipstick ever left. And then apparently nobody likes eyeshadow singles. More lipstick and then we had some lashes here. So I'm gonna take the rest of this to the woman's shelter. But I think we did pretty dang good. Hopefully I've inspired you guys to let go of some of your makeup because if I can do it, then you can do it. It was hard, it was hard. We made it through it together with your help. Thank you so much for that because I feel like I seriously would have continued to hang on to things. Um, and I did just collect a bunch of PR stuff from my office that I'm going to move in now that we have tons of new real estate to put makeup. Um, I made a basket of things that I thought were really great. So instead of putting all of it in there, I'm kind of doing it as I go and like being like, okay, I would never wear that. Let's move that. And then just take these ones. So I'm getting better. We're doing good. I'm learning from my mistakes, people. <sighs> Thanks for going through that journey with me. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. What are you doing with your life? And also turn on notifications because YouTube's been real weird and then you can get notified when I upload a new video. And I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. We will see you in the next video. Bye, Fox fam. So this is some of the stuff that I recently got in PR packages that I moved over here because I thought it was cute. These are Jouer, some uh, new ColourPop foundation. I thought the packaging was really cute. Foundation is like a thing right now because I swear I got so much foundation. I got a bunch of um, foundation from Lawless. This is just a really cute little blush from Tarte. I literally got rid of everything else from the collection. It was too like boring for me um, other than the packaging. So kept this one. I kept an e.l.f. Uh, eye, rose gold eyeshadow palette, some Gypsy Shrine fun stuff. Um, this is like some of the PR package stuff over here, like just chilling. Got this crazy looking palette from um, BH Cosmetics. This just looked like interesting. I usually don't like baked eyeshadows, but we'll give it a shot. Some setting baking powders by Huda Beauty. These looked awesome. You never know what shade you're gonna be, so I like pretty much took all of them. Um, I got some new brushes from Royal and Langnickel, which I put on my Instagram stories. These are like some of my favorite brushes. I love their vegan brushes. They're just really soft and usually like really cute. And I kept some jelly highlighters from Farsali, these are beautiful. These are the ones that I usually use to put on like underneath my foundation. And then we got some like Jeffree Star lipsticks in here. And some, this is a new brand. Um, this is a brand that Tarte owns and it's called Awake. So I thought I might put that in there. It's like a moisturizer. So we'll put it in the primer drawer now that we have some space. So yeah, that's kind of like some of the new stuff that I got that I'm gonna be putting away in there and trying out. Yes. Kristen out.